Navigating Conversations, The Art of Not Sticking Your Oar In. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase, stick one's oar in. This idiom is not only vivid but also packed with cultural nuances that can add depth to your understanding of English conversations. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in your English journey, knowing these expressions can really help you navigate social interactions more smoothly. So, let's get started. The expression, stick one's oar in, is a nautical metaphor, originating from the physical act of sticking an oar, a long pole used to row boats, into water to affect the boat's direction. However, when used as an idiom, it has nothing to do with boating and everything to do with interfering in someone else's business or conversation without being asked. It suggests an uninvited intrusion that can be annoying or disruptive. To bring this phrase to life, let's look at some examples. 1. Imagine you're discussing plans for a weekend trip with your friend, and another person, who was not part of the conversation, jumps in with their opinion on where you should go. This unsolicited advice is a classic case of sticking one's oar in. 2. In a team meeting at work, if someone who is not part of the project offers their critique on the strategy being discussed, they are sticking their oar in. It might be well-intentioned, but it's not their place to comment. This phrase is best used in informal settings among friends or in casual conversation. It's important to note that using it directly towards someone can come across as blunt or even rude. Instead, it's often used to describe a situation to a third party. For example, I wish he hadn't stuck his oar in, we had everything under control until he did. Understanding idioms like stick one's oar in, enriches your grasp of the English language and helps you navigate social situations with more awareness. It's all about the subtle art of conversation and knowing when to contribute and when to listen. We hope this video sheds light on this colorful expression and adds a new layer to your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to stick your oar in when the moment is right, just make sure it's welcomed. See you in our next video.